We all know that power and defense are the best stats in the game. One of the other stats, intensity, is a weird but useful stat. For certain builds, intensity can have a massive effect, possibly making it the third strongest stat in the game. In this video, we'll see what effects intensity has and what builds work best with it. Intensity is one of the six armor stats in the game, and its effects are rather strange. It increases status effect durations, increases size of puddles and clouds, increases the effect of auras, and decreases ultimate art cooldown. Though the effects are all fairly strong, their usefulness in PvP are much different. The first effect we'll talk about is the effect on auras. Auras, or focus if you're one of those berserkers, is a skill that gives a passive stat bonus during its duration. The main settings players use are the power and resistance auras. For this video, I will use the resistance aura since it is both stronger and easier to measure. I recorded values for resistance auras from 0 up to 259, and it turns out that the bonus is non-linear. A fake username tried to match an equation to those values, and the closest one that he got is this equation. If we look at the chart, we can see that low amounts of intensity provide a much greater bonus per point compared to high amounts. Unless you are making a weird build, you usually won't have more than 80 intensity. In this case, your mode will be around 0.8 to 1% stronger for each point of intensity. That might sound OP, but that just multiplies the aura bonus, not your actual health. For Acid, Defense Aura only increases health by 18%, rounded up. At 259 intensity, intensity makes the aura about 2.36 times stronger, resulting in 42.9% bonus health. In terms of actual health, 259 intensity only gives 1.2 times more health compared to zero intensity. This might make intensity seem a bit bad, except the fact that Acid has pretty low aura bonuses. For Metal, Defense Aura normally increases health by 21%, and with 259 intensity, it increases health by almost 49.5%. Mage Aura is not the only skill that gets this bonus though. Berserker has the Focus skill, which acts very similarly to Aura. Iron Legs Resistance Aura gives 27% extra health normally, but can increase to 63.7% with 259 intensity. Even with just 80 intensity, which can be gained using the full Argo set, Iron Leg can give 43.2% bonus health, giving the player a massive advantage over others. For Iron Leg Berserkers, the Argo set is very important, potentially being stronger than the Sunken set. As we can see, intensity is quite powerful for mages and berserkers just from the aura bonus alone. However, intensity still has two more effects. The second strongest effect is the increased duration of status effects. I tested this using fire, and it turns out the multiplier to the duration is the same as the multiplier to the aura. For DLTs, this effect can increase total damage by quite a bit, given you don't hit a shot in a long time. If we take this multiplier and apply it to Frozen, Petrified, or Paralyzed, enemy players can be stunned for up to 2.36 seconds. This effect is only important if your magic or fighting style inflicts status effects, and it can be quite useful. The last effect though, affects even fewer magics. Currently, intensity increases the size of hazards, which has an odd scaling. With 24 intensity, acid puddles are quite bigger than they normally are. With 259 intensity, these puddles become especially big. If you use Poison, Ash, Acid, or Magma, you definitely need at least one of Argos' armor. Even though your opponent isn't likely to step into hazards, they can still act as area denial, making it easier to predict their movement. Here's my build that I used to get 259 intensity. It uses some weird armor pieces such as the Wolf Set, including the Mountaineer's Boots. The Mountaineer's Boots gives an insane amount of intensity at only level 100. As you can see, the puddles become massive and the aura becomes much more effective. This build is merely for showcase and the only viable intensity armor is the Argo set. Overall, intensity is a pretty strong but niche secondary stat. It can greatly improve damage or health gain from aura as well as make status effects last longer. For most strength or magic builds, having 24 intensity from an Argos piece is definitely worth it because of its effect on aura and focus. If you have a magic that has DLT or special effects, more intensity might be worth it. However, for weapons, intensity is not important at all, and you should be focused on attack speed and agility instead.